Hi, this is Brother Barnes, and let's talk about how to create a graph in Pearson orientation. This is for physics. This was unbelievably maddening for me. I couldn't even find a good tutorial on YouTube to figure this out. And the only thing that saved me eventually was just hitting the reset button and then beginning to click through this stuff here. Anyhow, I'm supposed to graph uh, y is equal to 2x minus 6 and I think I have it and I'm not going to click submit right now because I really want to clear it and start back over again yes I want to clear it and you know I I looked here at a straight line and you know I wanted to start with uh, okay let's talk about this for just a second uh, if I had y is equal to 2x minus 6 and I had an x value of 1, then 2 minus 1 would be minus 4. So I should be able to put a point at 1 and minus 4. So, so that was kind of what I wanted to do. But yet nothing, nothing happens. I, I then thought, okay, well, maybe I need to put a line down and then drag it. No, that wasn't it. And, and sure enough, I, I reset all of it. Let's OK. And then let's go back to add an element. And this is the equation that I'm wanting to utilize. And so now notice that this blues in. Thank you for that. And I kind of already have in my mind that, that I want to have a, a point at 1 and negative 4. And, and then remember, for instance, if, I, if x was 2, then I would have a negative 2 value as well. So that's what appears to be the correct answer. Let's hit submit and see what happens and hope for the best. And it says correct. Yikes. I will tell you, I... I appreciate the, the Pearson graphing elements, but I really have to work at getting the hang of this, and I am so sorry. This is probably so simple to someone, it's just not me. Keep going.